Patsy eel is a perennial staple food for the Thais. It is one dish that is easy to prepare and there are only a few ingredients required and cooking is simple. It is as simple as it is described but you need to pay attention to a few points to make an excellent part CU. This video will explain each ingredient and the steps in detail. Cut the meat into small thin slices. Marinate it with a small amount of light soy sauce, a bit of corn flour, and some vegetable oil. Set aside for 30 minutes before stir frying. Fresh kuih tiao is quite oily and tends to stick together. Separate the noodles by hand before frying it, as the whole stack of noodles tends to stick together during stir frying. There's a significant difference between Chinese broccoli and the regular broccoli. Chinese broccoli is leafy without florets. Remove the tough fiber on the surface with a vegetable peeler. Cut the leafy part of the Chinese broccoli into a few sections. Cut the stems diagonally into short sections. Separate the leaf and the stems set aside. The seasoning. Some cooks omit oyster sauce in the formula, but I use it as it gives a wholesome flavor to the noodles. I like to include a small amount of fish sauce in the seasoning too. It has its own umami and a sharp saltiness flavor. The main seasoning in Pat Si Yu is soy sauce, which is what Si Yu is meant. There are two types of soy sauce in the recipe, the light and the dark soy sauce. Thai light soy sauce may be hard to get outside Thailand, but it is irreplaceable and it has a unique taste. The closest substitute for the Thai dark soy sauce I can get is the Indonesian Kichap Manis. The ABC brand from Indonesia is available in most of the local supermarket which produce the flavor closest to the authentic Thai version. Lastly, add a bit of sugar and that's all the seasoning required for Pat Si Yu. Always start to cook with low heat. Saute the garlic. Then medium heat. That is cooking the meat, vegetable and the egg. And finally, high temperature to create the wok hay and char the noodles. The excellent and the mediocre noodle stir fries are defined by the aroma formed by high temperature. So let's take a look how to do it. Start with cooking the stems of the Chinese broccoli. Stir fry over medium heat with some vegetable oil for about a minute. Add 3 tablespoons of water to about 6 stalks of Chinese broccoli that I used. And cook it further for another 2 minutes. Blanch the stems until it is soft. You can pick one and test it. Turn up the heat to dry up any remaining water. Dish out or push them to the side of the wok. Saute the garlic with some oil over low heat. Cook the meat with the chopped garlic. Garlic can burn quickly over high heat and become bitter. And stir fry until the meat is cooked. Spread the chicken into a single layer and pan fry until slightly brown. Fry the noodles. Fry the noodles with some oil over low heat. Make sure you use a wok which is well seasoned as rice noodles tend to stick easily. Add the seasonings mixture, soy sauce, oyster sauce, fish oil, sugar. Gradually increase the heat to medium. Stir 
flip and scrape lightly to avoid the noodles from sticking. Pour half of the broccoli leaves and meat back to the wall. Stir well with the noodles. Add the egg where the noodles are almost ready. Crack an egg and spread it to form a single layer with the wok spatula. Fold the noodles on top of the egg and have a quick flip and stir while the egg is still not fully set. Finally, add the remaining broccoli leaves into the wok. Stir fry until the leaves are wilted. After show you how to prepare the Thai fried noodles part C U. You can download the recipe and read more details at my blog, tasteasianfood.com part C U. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below. You'll find there are many more of the similar Asian dishes out there. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video. My name is KP Kwan. Bye for now.